in this video what we're going to be doing is showing you how to install a SSD for the M.2 interface as well as doing a quick unboxing of the SSD I decided to purchase which is the Western Digital Black SN750 with a heatsink. Now before you buy your SSD it is important to make sure that it is compatible with your motherboard. There are two types of these M.2 interface SSDs. One is the PCIe and the other is the SATA. Now the way to be able to compare the two or tell the two apart is the notches. The PCIe has one notch and the SATA has two notches. So refer to your motherboard or the motherboard manual to figure out what type you need and then you can make a good purchasing decision from there. So this is what I have. This is the Western Digital Black N750. This is the 500 gigabyte model. Now this may look different than most M.2 drives because it includes an integrated heatsink. Now the heatsink should help when it is under heavy load from video editing and rendering, but this really is just an excuse because I think it looks awesome and at the time it didn't cost any extra to include. In this package, all you have is the SSD itself and a manual. The screw that you'll be using later should come with the motherboard that you have. I'll be installing this on the Asus Prime X750P. Getting onto the installation, there are two different slots on this board and you can see that there is one here. If you're having any trouble identifying their location on your board, you can refer to the manual. These SSDs vary in size from 42 to 80 millimeters. This board has room for all three sizes, as you can see here, and the SN750 I'll be installing will be using the 80 millimeter screw hole. To install the drive, all you need to do is gently insert it into the port near the top at a slight angle. Gently give it a push, and when the SSD is in, it will have some give or even some bounce depending on the slot on the board. This is completely normal. All you need to do from here is lightly push push the SSD down, insert the screw that came with your motherboard, and tighten it. But make sure you tighten it just enough to hold it in place because you don't want to over tighten it. And then damage the SSD itself or even your motherboard. And it's as simple as that. The drive will now act as any other drive on your computer. You can see in this shot I later moved my SSD to a lower slot because it was being covered up by the graphics card. I did this just to be able to see it a little bit better. Learn from my lesson. If, if you have a multiple M.2 slots make sure you are strategic in where you install them. That about wraps that up. I don't do this type of format of video that often, but if you enjoyed it, please feel free to let me know down below. And if you hated it, you know what to do. If you liked it, hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell. I hope you have a great day. Stay healthy and goodbye.